Apple Vision Pro surveys have been sent out to users ever since the headset launched earlier this year, but on this occasion, the company has sent customers a multitude of questions wanting to learn about their experience and usage habits. What is interesting about the latest in-depth survey is that it was sent out shortly after the technology giant reportedly cut production of its latest head-mounted wearable to an estimated 400,000 to 450,000 annual units. Typical questions in the survey reported by MacRumors include learning about the satisfaction level of Apple Vision owners, along with the duration of usage. Additionally, Apple asked what other accessories are used with the AR headset, likely to obtain feedback so that it can incorporate other pairing features through a software update in Vision OS or introduce it in the next model. In the in-depth survey, the Cupertino giant does not ask any questions about the Apple Vision Pro successor or a low-cost model, which is slated to launch sometime in 2025. A few questions from the survey are provided below to give you an idea of the level of feedback that Apple requires from its user base. Overall, how satisfied are you with your Vision Pro? What is your favorite feature or aspect of Apple Vision Pro so far? How often do you use your Apple Vision Pro? For how long do you typically wear your Apple Vision Pro before you decide to take it off? Who else uses your Vision Pro? Before taking the survey, did you know that you can let others use your Apple Vision Pro with the guest user feature? Which of these activities do you do regularly on your Vision Pro? With a long list of options, what types of video content are you most interested in watching on Apple Vision Pro? When using your Apple Vision Pro, how often are you immersed in an environment? Whenever you're using apps on Apple Vision Pro, how often do you multitask? Have you set up your persona to use in FaceTime? How satisfied are you with how your persona looks on Apple Vision Pro? Where is your Apple Vision Pro used most? Which of these accessories do you use with your Apple Vision Pro? With a list that includes mice, cases, AirPods Pro, and more. What headband do you use most often with your Apple Vision Pro? How often do you use your Apple Vision Pro while the battery is connected to a power source? Earlier, analyst Ming Chi Kua estimated that Apple would ship up to 800,000 units in 2024, but that figure has reportedly dropped sharply, probably due to waning interest in the product and the ludicrously high price. The company could attempt to bring up that number by launching the Apple Vision Pro in China later this year, along with other regions. However, we firmly believe that the base $3,500 tag is way too steep to ask for a device that will not even give you a three-hour runtime away from the wall. Subscribe to get an everyday digest of the latest technology news in your inbox. I paid a lot of money for the privilege of getting an Apple Vision Pro brand new in February. All in, with optical inserts and taxes, I financed a little over $3,900 for the 256GB version of the headset. A day or so ago, I made a mistake that I'm sure many early adopters are familiar with. I looked up how much it's been selling for on eBay. On Wednesday, a 1TB Vision Pro, complete with all the included gear, Apple's fluffy $200 travel case, $500 Apple Care Plus, and claimed to have been worn maybe about an hour, sold for $3,200 after 21 bids. The listed shipping estimate was $20.30. Brand new, that combination is $5,007.03 on Apple's site for me. Another eBay listing, this one with my headset's configuration, but sans optical inserts, went for just $2,600, again with most, if not all, of the included accessories. Several other 256GB and 512GB models sold for around that amount this week. The story is no different over on Swappa, a popular reselling site among Apple users. This, of course, is how the story goes for early adopters, especially when you're buying very expensive tech before the mainstream catches on. Apple's pricing doesn't help matters, especially when the next closest competing headset, the MetaQuest 3, is just $500. It's a bummer even if they're ultimately not all that comparable, at least in terms of their targeted audiences and goals for their platforms. But it still stings, doesn't it? Knowing I could have saved several hundred dollars and gotten the highest storage configuration, Apple Care Plus, and a storage case is particularly painful. I like the Vision Pro plenty, maybe more than any other rider at The Verge. But if I hadn't missed the return window, I would send mine right back to Apple in a heartbeat just so I could get one of these deals. Thankfully, when I'm wearing the headset, nobody can see my tears. Slash sign up for Verge deals to get deals on products we've tested sent to your inbox weekly. The Verge is a Vox Media network.
all rights reserved.